as you can see in the background uh, we are moving so we have a lot going on right now uh, but I wanted to stop by real quick and talk about this topic this tweet that I posted the other day and I talked about how most men shouldn't marry until 35 or 40. So this tweet ended up getting a lot of attention. The issue that women had was why do we have to wait so long for men to mature in order for them to marry? Now, let me say this, because I've been mentoring men, families, young men, um, to having a blended family. Like I've been doing this for over 15 years. So I've seen the way men behave in their personal lives as well as being married. So I'm not just saying this just, just to say it like I've lived this. I have walked with men who uh, have you know certain things going on in their life that they're not going to share with everybody, but they they will share with me. So most men won't, I don't think, and this isn't scientific, this isn't statistically, so don't come for me in the comments saying that where's the stats at and all this other stuff, and you know I'm a stats kind of person, right? But this is just my opinion. I think most men could settle down around 35 and 40 because they're a little more mature. And some of the ladies say, shoot, 60 years old. Some, some men ain't even mature enough until they're in their 60s. But the reason I say 35 is 40 because we start to think a little bit more outside of ourselves. And with younger men, let's be honest, Younger men, you know, they just really about getting it. They they just, you know, kind of like to be flashy, like to try to impress the women. That's what it's all about. It's, I, you know, I always talk about men, we should chase purpose, not panties. So a lot of times younger guys, they just thinking about the panties. They just thinking about everything that they do is just to impress a woman. Now, this isn't all men. I'm just saying the majority, a lot of our younger men, let's say, uh, 18 to 30, 35, right? Possibly even 40. A lot of men are just more interested in what women like and they become that just to try to please a woman, just to try to sleep with a woman. So they aren't really internally trying to be the best version of themselves. They're doing things just to try to get it in with other women. Oh, she like this? Well, let me, let me, let me become this. She like this? Let me become this. That's why you got the guys on Instagram that's flashing their money, that's flashing their car. So when women put out certain things in the atmosphere, guys are like, oh, I got that too. So a lot of times they not being authentic with themselves. It's just more of what I can get from another woman. Now, as a man, when you are a little older, you know, 35 to 40, give or take, they are a little more responsible. A lot of times they're a little more settled in their career. They're kind of a little more focused in knowing what they want. They've played the games. They've kind of been through this whole thing and trying to impress other people and come to find out at the end of the day, they still have to sleep with themselves at night. They have to uh, be aware of what they got going on internally. Like, wow, what am I doing all this for? Am I doing this just to impress a woman? So when you get a little older, you start to think about these things. And you start to realize I've lost myself in this whole process. I don't even know who I am. I've just been raised on, and no shade to hip hop, but Lord knows I, I love, I'm, I'm a hip hop head to the day that I die. But music has influenced me. Uh, programming, TV, social media, these TV shows have programmed a lot of men to believe, you know, this is what uh, women want. So I'm just going to become that. Now, when you're a little older and you marry as a man, you start to think more of your wife, your kids. Like you start to be a little more aware of these things. You walk around with your head on a swivel, I would say. Like, what are the needs of my family? You start to give more of yourself. You start to think more of not only am I a protector physically, but I'm a protector mentally. I'm a protector spiritually. I'm a protector financially, uh, emotionally, all these different things for my wife, because for one man, especially in today's culture, for one man to settle with one woman, it's tough for a lot of guys because there's so many options. Uh, you know, people are just a swipe away. The, the, the sexual liberation where everybody's just getting it in now, where sex is so easy as opposed to back in the day, we, we used to have to have game to try to sleep with somebody. You know, it was almost uh, valued when people kept their, their clothes on. You know, it was like, well, get to know me first. But nowadays, everybody's like, 
you know, well, the, the, the men are being savages, so I'm going to be a savage too. So let me, let me lay down as many men as possible and, and, and treat them the way they treat us. And that's a whole different topic for another show. I always tell people don't become who hurt you, that you actually leave yourself and your core values and morals just to get even. Uh, I, I don't think that's healthy because you just lose yourself in the process. And then years go by and now you don't know who you are. But most men, they don't get the necessary help that they need. Uh, it's not sexy in today's culture to to mentor other men, to walk with other men. Uh, fatherhood, a lot of this stuff isn't sexy. And I'm not saying that you got to do it for culture, but people, people don't support that, right? You can look at all the the people you follow on Instagram, the people you follow on YouTube, all these different things. Where's the 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 market for healthy dads or healthy marriages, healthy relationships? Like who are you subscribed to? Who are you following? See, because it it, it discourages men sometimes when you're trying to help other men and you're not getting the support that you need because it's not sexy. We we will promote unhealthy relationships before we promote healthy ones. So I always say, if you want to see change, start promoting healthy relationships because men will gravitate towards whatever women want. If women say, and, and I know it's a bad example, I'm just using it. Just like the movie Chirac, right? With Nick Cannon, if you saw it. They just kind of boycott the whole sex thing. They like, we're not giving men none until y'all stop doing all this killing, this senseless killing, right? And it's, you know, it's far-fetched. I mean, this is not the greatest movie, but I'm just using that as an example because men are always going to follow whatever women say is okay. I'm not saying that this total responsibility is on women, but that's what men chase. Men chase whatever women want. So when you have other men trying to help other men, these guys are like, yeah, that's cool. The stuff that you're telling me that you want to, you want me to be with one woman, you want me to raise kids and all this other stuff. But here's what women want, though. Women want this, you know. Or this is what I'm seeing on social media, so I'm going to try to get that. And a lot of guys, 35, possibly even 40, are still chasing women. They're still chasing the panties, opposed to chasing purpose. And I think a lot of times it's harder for men to try to pursue purpose, opposed to chasing women because it's easier to put up this facade and try to impress a bunch of women that's that's easy because the newness of relationship you can always impress four or five different women just it's just being new you know you can always put on your Stacey, your macy salesperson as i would always say it's just easy to impress somebody you look good you smell good but once that mask come off that's when they get to know the real you and who you are and then you end up leaving ghosting somebody because now all of a sudden they're starting to see the real you and you don't want them to see the real you. So you end up ghosting this person, right? So all I'm saying is, man, let's start promoting healthy relationships. If you want to see change out here, promote healthy relationships because we don't have that enough out here. How are you investing your money? Are you investing money in, in courses and in, in relationship courses and books self-help things that's going to help make you better because when you do those things you're not going to allow yourself to be to, to put up with bs from anybody right because your mind is renewed and i talked about that in the video i did the love is a house series with us moving that when you start to change your mind and renew and, and think different you're going to lose people in the process that's just the way it is and it's okay because you want to become the best version of yourself as possible you want to do it for you because remember, change is an inside job. It has to start from the inside out, not from the outside in. People think that if I buy a new car or I buy a new house or I buy these new Jordans or if I buy this new uh, Chanel purse, I don't know, whatever everybody's getting nowadays. They think that that's going to change them. It'll make you feel good temporarily. But you will realize that I'm starting to get into the same relationships again. Why am I still attracting the same kind of men over and over again? It's because you didn't do the inside work first. Change starts from the inside out. The, the, the person that's on the inside of you will always show up. No matter how many cars you buy. No matter how many houses you buy. No, no matter how many degrees you get. No matter how big your wardrobe is. How many purses you have. How many pair of shoes you have. 
all of that stuff is just to cover what's really inside. Now, again, there's nothing wrong with those things, but you have to remember that when you change, things will change. You will start to date different when there's inside work that's done first. When you start to be more in tune with who you are on the inside and being honest about who you are and what you're struggling with and what you're dealing with. And when you do those things, your situation will change because people keep going through the same stuff over and over again. Next thing you know, it's been 10, 15 years and you still struggling with the same things. So all I'm saying is if we want to see change, we have the power to create change. Let's not let's stop promoting unhealthy stuff on relationship. The reasons why we have F boys now and all this other stuff, because we always talking about this. You'll be amazed of all the the. The people, the things I see on Twitter that people retweet or on social media that people share, that has to do with dysfunctional stuff. Now, it's popular and I get it because, you know, people just like drama and stuff like that. So I get it. But if we want to see change, we have to start promoting healthy relationships. So especially for my ladies, if you want a good man, you have to help change the culture. This is what I'm looking for in a man. I don't want this BS. I'm not promoting that stuff. Nope. I'm not. Nope. I'm not that kind of woman. So you will start to see a different kind of man and it's okay for people to be out of your life. That's okay. Because I know he was tall. He was chocolate and, and he made a lot of money and he had abs and you didn't want to let him go because you thinking I'm not going to find another man, but he might've not been the man for you. And I always say that just because he's a good man doesn't mean he's your man. You have to know who is a good fit for you not just from what culture says. Uh, and this isn't to put my wife and I on a pedestal or anything of that nature, but I think one of the reasons our relationship, our, our marriage is healthy is because we just live by biblical principles. We don't care what culture says. We, we, we check out culture. We see what's going on out there. But when we got married, we didn't care about none of that stuff. We just knew what we wanted. And is this what's going to please God? That's what, that's all we was concerned about is this is God's will. And, Obviously, it is because it's coming up on five years of, of marriage uh, this October. So all I'm saying is we can create change. We have the power to create change one person at a time. We can do this. It's just a matter of us taking the necessary steps to move forward and to uh, eat, each one teach one. Once we learn, we start passing that on to other people. So that way, the next generation can become better. I think if we do those things, we can create change for our children because I don't know what culture is going to look like in, in you know, five years from now. So in order for us to have healthy relationships and we want change, especially when women talk about men and, and you know all the things that men are doing that's not healthy, let's start promoting more healthy stuff. And men will look at it and say, oh, oh, so that's what women want. Women want a man that's going to, uh, care for his wife, that's going to um, care for his children, that's going to be in the house with his children, that's going to uh, provide and, and, and take care of their family. Oh, and the uh, mental stability. I'm going to be uh, healthy enough to uh, for my wife to trust me. You know, she don't have to worry about what I'm doing because you can protect her emotionally as well by being faithful and committed. Oh, that's what's, that's what's the thing right now. That's what women are looking for. Oh, I want to be committed. I want to be faithful. I, I want to be emotionally mature. I want to be emotionally available. I want to be spiritually strong. I want to be the leader of my home. That's what women like. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you still have to do this for yourself. And that's why I say we have to help promote more men doing things with other men. Because when, when a man is whole on the inside, he can be everything he needs to be for his family. Because he's working from the inside out. We have to change the way uh, culture think and help our men. No, that's not that's not cute. This is the way things should go. And this is the way things can work for uh, if you want to have a healthy family and if you want to have a secure wife because you're coming home every night. You're not she's not worrying about what you doing at, you know, 1030 at night or whatever that. No, I trust him. He's good. I know what he got going on or he's there for my children. I know every night he's going to put my kids to bed like all these different things. So that was just my rant. I'm done. 
Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm also going to drop a video series coming soon called We're Not Making Love No More, how to have more sex than one day a week because that's been a topic as of late and I'm noticing that a lot of times, especially for my married folks, we're not getting it in like we should. So I'm creating this video course that's a three-part video series that I think is gonna be awesome because if we can get it right in the bedroom, I believe other things will fall in place as well, but there are some other things that need to go on outside of the bedroom, right? To make it better in the bedroom. So that's coming soon. Also, don't forget to get the the online video series I did, Dating Intentionally, Five Ways to Know If They Are the One. That's another one that's going to help some people because, again, with the dating scene out here, a lot of times people are wasting too much time on people that's not for them. And this video course is going to help you weave through all the unnecessary drama and getting rid of those people who doesn't who don't mean you any any good they just want to waste your time and get what they want to get from you so make sure you get that that would be in the description below this is sean heineman that is scared to and mary wanting you to love fearlessly i'm about to go pack some more bags and boxes and all this other stuff so i'll talk to you soon brave arts community take care